everyone. In today's episode, we are going to edit this gorgeous little spring bloom using a variety of tools in Topaz Studio 2. So let's jump in. Welcome to Creative Photography with Lori. In this episode, I am so excited to walk you through an edit that I just finished using the program Topaz Studio 2. So Topaz is my favorite go-to solution when I want to add painterly effects on my computer versus using maybe an application on my iPad or phone. So I shot this image of these beautiful little plum blooms and wanted to just bring some impressionistic qualities to the image. And so I knew that editing in the program Topaz would be the option. So this is the final image. We're gonna see if we can duplicate this today or replicate it. So let's jump in. I have this image here and I've already made some just basic adjustments. Now I'm going to right click, I am in Lightroom and I'm going to do edit in Topaz Studio 2. Now, if you are new to the program Topaz Studio 2, the link to read about it or purchase it is in the description of this video. Topaz is a company that has several editing solutions and most of their programs are AI based, but they created Topaz Studio 2 for specifically creative photography. And it is a wonderful program that I encourage you to check out and purchase. What's great is it's once you have it, it's yours and um, it's a lot of fun to use. It also works seamlessly with Lightroom. So as you bring or Photoshop, as you bring an image into the program, it makes a copy. And then once you're finished, you'll click accept and it will take your image back into Lightroom or Photoshop. Now, if you don't use Adobe programs, you can still bring your images directly into Topaz at any time you can open Topaz and bring an image in. So it's a standalone product that is so fun to use. All right, so for this image, the first thing that I wanna do is I want to come down and add one of my favorite tools for especially flowers, and it's under Add Look. So this is where there are some presets that are already ready that Topaz has given us. The one that I love is Fur and Feathers. And what this does is it brings out details. So I just wanted to bring a little bit of the lines and texture, and I'm gonna just take that opacity down, usually about 20 works really nice. So next we'll click apply, and we've got that fur and feathers there and all added. Now the next thing that I wanna do is I want to add a filter, and one of my favorites is glow. So I'm gonna come down and select glow, and I wanna go ahead and increase the strength of it. So you'll see it's gonna be a little, little crazy at first, but we're going to reduce the opacity. So I'm just gonna take that opacity down until it's where I like it. Now with this glow, you have some other, other details. You can add some brightness, saturation. You can do um, how much of the effect you want it covering in the image. You can do a lot of these details. I'm gonna grab this little brush and bring it down. You can see sharpness. I usually don't fool with many of those, to be honest. I just like to add the effect. Now you can see I'm on dark. We can also try, if we flip it to light, you can see it's really enhancing the light parts of our image. Now we could take it back to dark and that is keeping true some of those darker areas. So I think I'm gonna keep it on dark, but based on your image, you could play with that glow. All right, so now that we've added the impressionistic look for and feathers, we've added some glow, I wanna add some texture to this image. So we're going to go to add filter, down to texture, and I'm gonna type in the word pink because I know there are some great pink textures that I like to use. So this first one that's really fun is Pink Moon. Now what we can do is bring the opacity down and I love how it gives us just this softness around the edges. Now the great thing about Topaz is we can mask and bring back the details in our flower. So I'm gonna select the mask and for this, I think I'm just going to use the brush. I wanna bring the transparency of the brush almost to 50%, maybe about 30. 
And that's going to bring back some of the details, but not all. We don't want it to look unnatural. So I like to have my textures just blend really nicely into the image. Now what you can do is once you've done it at 30%, we can bring this transparency closer to black, which is going to reveal our image underneath. And now we can just come into this center area. So now we've got a little bit less texture and more of our original image popping through. Now to check yourself at any point, we can close out of the mask. You can hover the hand over your image and see before and now after. Okay, so we're getting started. We've added this texture. I'm actually going to increase the opacity a little bit. Bring it down. Yeah, I like that. You can also try different blend modes. So we could come down and try soft light. We could try hard light, what's going to darken it. And that's actually kind of nice. So we could try that if we wanted and we can play around with it. Now, what I want to do next is add another texture. So we're going to try this pink wind chime. That's got some details that are kind of interesting. There's also pink dreams. There's pink panther. That one's really pretty. Pink concrete. That's giving us kind of that gray look. Yeah, so some some different different textures here that we can try out. And we can even overlay a second one if we wanted. So pink panther is really pretty. Again, I've got the opacity down. We could increase it take it back. What I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of the word pink and let's just see what other textures we like for this image. And what I'm going to do is keep the opacity up so that we can really see those as we're working. Baby lotion is one that works nice um, sometimes. I know um, there's Blooming Dahlia. That's also one of my favorites to try. So I'm just scrolling through these to see some different options. Now the border options can be really nice also. And there's several borders that just give you kind of a vintage look, um, something fun that you can try. Different, different borders, bridal veil. Let's go back up to the borders. That one's kind of interesting. Um, some different options there. Okay, I'm going to keep scrolling and let's try this bruised peach. Ooh, that's interesting. If we reduce the opacity, that's kind of nice bringing in some more of those pink tones. So it's really up to you what look you're going for with your image and what you're wanting to accomplish as you work on it. So I'm going to keep going down and let's see what else we have. I could play with these. Um, all day. All right, this mahogany one I really like. Let's take the, that's just giving us kind of this woodsy, um, kind of dramatic look. So we've got that one. That's definitely a contender. Mocha brings in some different tones. You can also bring in your own texture. So that's a nice thing about the program as well. There's Orange Crush. We already had pink. That's pink dreams, pink moon. And I think pink moon is probably the one. And we've already got that mask on there. So I think um, pink moon is going to be nice. Now, the next thing that we can do is add another filter. And this time I want to try smudge. Now that we've added these textures, I want to see what happens if we add a little bit of smudge to the background. So I'm going to take it up because I want to I want to kind of smooth out the background a little bit. And I'm going to keep it keep it kind of small. And then I'm going to use the mask and again with the brush at about 50%. I'm going to remove some of this from my main subject. And you can again Play with your mask. This is the beauty of this program, just to get it exactly where you want it. So I love to see the way it falls off on the edges. You've got all this whimsy up here, but we brought back just a little bit of detail. You could also bring back some detail in these other areas if you wanted to. 
just remove a little bit of that, but I think, um, I think that's really pretty. So we've gone from this just kind of standard snapshot to something really artistic and um, beautiful with the image. Now we could continue editing. We could come in and add some more texture. We could add a vignette. So that is a great option as well. We wanted to really bring that um, vignette in and just make it kind of dreamy looking. Bring that in and make sure the transition, I like the roundness to be there. And you can also do a vignette with a color. So we could grab the dropper and actually select the pink in our flower. And that can become our vignette. Isn't that fun? So we can reduce the opacity and just have that little hint of pink. Or you could do a white. Um, you could really do any kind of vignette you want. And you can also change the colors. If you want it a little bit softer, you could come in and do that. So all kinds of options with this program. You really just have to determine what, what works for you, what you like. You can always delete. But I think for today, I'm pretty happy with this image. And I think we'll stop here. So we just have to click Accept. And then it will take the image back into Lightroom for us. And we will have our edited image that we can um, see in just a second. It will be stacked with the other images um, that we just did. So now we've got this beautiful version. We have the version I did before, which looks like I have a little bit of that, maybe that mahogany texture. And we have our original version. So just a little bit of artistic painting today, creating something a little different and creative. And I hope you'll check out the program Topaz and consider using it when you edit images. If you like this video, click the like button, click subscribe. I greatly appreciate it and have a great rest of the week, everybody.